Hey everyone, so it's been a while since I've done a two minute tips video. And in this one we're going to be looking at how to easily, and probably in under 30 seconds, exchange SSH keys between your Unraid server and another computer or server elsewhere. This is especially useful because it means we can access other computers and servers without having to authenticate with a password. And because of this, we can automate processes that require that function. And a few things come to mind where we can find this useful. We can mount and interact with directories and files that are located on a remote machine over an SSH connection using something called Secure Shell File System, a video coming up about that soon, or just making backups to and from remote locations. In fact, that's what prompted me to make this video, my recent ZFS snapshot and replication video. For replication to remote locations, it needs SSH keys to be exchanged. Well, in fact, there's a whole load of different reasons you might want to do this. But I can hear some of you saying, hey, I thought you said this was a two minute tips video. He's been talking for a minute already. Yeah, but the two minutes part doesn't start until after the introduction. So let's see if I can easily show you how to exchange those SSH keys in about two minutes, starting from now. So what I want to do is be able to connect from my main server to this other server here on my network. Now, normally I just have to open a terminal window and just type ssh root at 10.10.20.196 which is the IP of that server and root being the username because it's unraid. It would ask me here if I'm sure I want to continue and then it would ask for the password and I'm logged in. But obviously we can't make scripts and things like that automate this process and if we wanted to connect again well it's always going to ask for the password. So let's fix that. So open up a browser window and go to a search engine, do a search for GitHub Space Invader 1 and click onto the link here. And once there, go to repositories and click on where you see it says Easy Unraid SSH Key Exchange. There's some instructions here you can read through, but it's super easy to do. Just click onto the script here, then click onto raw. So we need to copy all of this text. And now I'm going to go back to the main server here. Now we need to make sure that we've got Squid's excellent user scripts plugin installed. With it installed, go across to settings, user scripts, then make a new script and just call it something like SSH key exchange. The name doesn't really matter. So I can see that script here. So now I'm going to hover over it and go to edit script. I'm going to remove bin bash at the top here and then paste the contents in here. So we can see everything's here. So I'm going to click save changes. Now all we have to do is run the script and we can see the script's finished. And at the bottom here, it says to use, open a terminal window in the Unraid web UI and type dot forward slash ssh.sh. So because I'm lazy, I'm going to copy this. I'm going to click onto done. And now I'm going to open a terminal window again. And I'm going to put in the command and hit enter. So the first thing the script does, it checks if we've got an ed 25519 public private key pair. If not, it will generate one for us. And if we've got one, it will just skip this part. So next, it just asks us for the IP of the remote server. For me, 10.10.20.196. Now, obviously, this doesn't have to be on the local network. This could be on the internet as well. So with that done, I'm going to hit enter. Then it asks for the username. So I'm going to pop that in here. For me, that's root because I'm connecting to another Unraid server. And now it asks for the password of the destination server. So I'm going to pop that in. And that's it. SSH keys have been exchanged. And if we want to test that, and now if I type ssh root at 10.10.20.196, well, we're straight in. Super easy. So that's a really easy way to exchange SSH keys. You don't have to remember any commands and it's just all nicely automated for you in a script. Now, one thing to note is what this script actually does is it basically generates another script which is interactive because at present we can't have interactive scripts in the user scripts in a browser window. So this script basically just makes another script which we run when we type the dot forward slash SSH and it just runs the script that way. But if you reboot the Unraid server, well, that script will be gone. So each time you might need to use this, just run the user script first and it will generate that SSH script that you can just run from the command line. Anyway, guys, that brings me to the end of this video. Now, I really hope you find that useful. If you did, as always, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And as always, a huge thanks to all of my patrons and supporters out there. Thanks so much, guys, for all your support. I really do appreciate it. Anyway, guys, it's time for me to go now. But whatever you're up to for the rest of the day, I hope it's good. 
and I'll catch you in the next video.